the way to look for fund is choose the right ones right ones for you you don't have to really scan those 35 40 funds kind of funds you can do with just four or five of them hello and welcome to investors hangout this weekly interaction to help you learn and understand savings and investment issues is brought to you by aditya birla sun life mutual fund and value research now there are 39 different types of mutual funds within the core asset classes there are 12 in equity within fixed income there are 16 others and then there are hybrid solution oriented index funds so on and so forth isn't all of this confusing so which are the funds that you must have in your portfolio we'll break it down for you in today's episode keep watching There are 39 kind of mutual fund and you know many different kind of equity fund, specialty fund, some investing in certain sector, large cap, mid cap and this and that. This is the most frequently asked question I face. People don't ask that tell me this fund which will help me achieve a goal. They just say that give me the best fund. People are chasing return and that is not a great starting point. It will always disappoint you. The way to look for fund is choose the right ones right ones for you you don't have to really scan those 35 40 funds kind of funds but you can do with just four or five of them for any investment time frame of you know few days to few weeks to few months your money should be in liquid fund only at most you know ultra short term bond fund these are the two kind of funds when your money needs to be available on demand these funds generate better return than savings bank account mostly and earlier they used to generate higher return and uh, very soon I think they will be generating little more return than they did in the past year. Liquid funds turn out to be very secure because they invest in T-bills and 91 day you know papers security which have maturity of less than 91 days so you know that, that is mandated by the law so they turn out to be their valuation and everything is very secure. Uh, besides that I would say that they, they also derive greater safety we have seen in recent years that investors money in banks got stuck on, on occasion in this case because of the diversification because your money is invested in the securities or bonds maturing within 91 days of many companies and many banks uh, certificate of deposits and things like that so you know it, your money is much more safer than an individual bank and there has been no instance where you know occasional one or two such instance but I would say almost no such instance whereby one has lost money in liquid fund even on an overnight basis there are investors who have their medium term requirement three to five years you need to invest your money you don't want to take chances with with your capital you and uh, you're not looking at maximizing your return but you're looking at uh, at most you know optimizing your return ensuring that they don't go down in value over this time period so for them simplify there are many kind of you know debt funds and some of them are risky many a times people are unable to reconcile with the fact that you invested in a debt fund and you are faced with losses and very recently you know people invested in guild funds and interest rate went up and the, these the value of these guild funds the guild funds which invest only in government security their prices went down and investors are faced with a big decline in value so this is something which you should understand that uh, you have to ensure in investing in only a category where the likelihood of losing your principal or the decline in value of your investment is very low because that is what most indian investors are you know are used to investing in fixed income ensuring that capital never goes down and for those investors it is the short term uh, debt fund there are many kind of debt funds their returns on occasion will look much very impressive you will be tempted to invest in them but don't risk your capital for slightly higher return on capital avoid all those uh, uh, all those you know temptations and invest only in short term debt funds investors looking to optimize their return on long term investment long term meaning 5 years and more first time investor you have never invested in equity before for them there are two vehicles and you should seriously consider either of it depending on your situation if you are a taxpayer and by investing in a fund by investing in a fund which will get you which will uh, give you a tax break which will save you tax 
that is the first uh, that should be your first such investment first such equity investment because these funds the tax saving fund they come with a three year lock in period and for any first time investor the biggest problem is that you invest and you start looking at the values every day and uh, typically in any equity fund the value goes down once in a while and uh, mostly when you are very excited it definitely goes down in value so invest in a tax saving fund the lock in of 3 years actually ensures that you your experience or your returns are generally positive and more than fixed income return equities have the potential to beat inflation generally over a longer time period and in this case 5 years time period you are also able to generate more return than fixed income so beating inflation beating fixed income more return than that start with a tax saving fund if you will save taxes if you are tax saving is not your objective then don't invest in a tax saving fund start with a aggressive hybrid fund these funds are meant for little conservative investor or you know they, uh, this is why i am suggesting that you invest in a fund which is substantially invested in equity but nominally invested in fixed income but it doesn't crumble when the market goes down and this is very important for any investors getting started so uh, start with your aggressive hybrid fund if you don't have to save taxes and investing in any market linked thing market linked investment for the first time this is the way most investors should start their investments which is depending on their needs of money being available on call on demand all the time or money for 3 uh, to 5 years and money for 5 years and more but starting in a manner so that you develop a belief in the system so tax saving and, ag and aggressive hybrid funds once you have invested for 2 3 years and you have seen the ups and downs of the market then you should consider investing in aggressive equity funds or international fund then you are eligible to uh, experience the equity market and the superior returns and and then the only thing that you should do there is choose few good funds of different categories maybe a small cap fund a mid cap fund or a international fund invest regularly and then invest for the long run invest make sure that you are investing for 5 years and more and if you do this and if you start investing in those vehicles after 4 5 years of your starting with the you know the basic vehicles which are meant for then you can safely ignore the confusing world of mutual fund where there are 35 36 kind of funds and there are different kind of index fund all kind of things being created every other day you can just do with this simple plan and uh, you it will also be very rewarding all right that's all we have for you in today's episode keep watching the space for more information if you like the show do subscribe to our youtube channel take care bye for now